Pierre, I mean, seeing that these gaming revenues are now expected down about 44 percent quarter over quarter. I know we talk about year over year, but th that's a pretty quick deceleration. What's going on in gaming at N NVIDIA? Um, thanks, Courtney. Yes, thanks for, for having me. So, so what's happening is actually uh, something that the market was anticipating quite a good deal. And that's the reason why the stock is coming down so, so little compared to the revenue miss. So you know that the cryptocurrency is entering another wind uh, with like a very, very steep reduction in cryptocurrency transactions. And that means a lot of crypto mining rigs with a lot of GPUs are being decommissioned. And miners are selling these GPUs in the second-hand market of the gaming market for GPUs. And so that means um, it, it pulls away a lot of consumer demand, a lot of gamers who want to buy a GPU suddenly see this very good deal on the second-hand market and are being pulled away fr from, from the first-hand market, and distributors see that. And so what they do is they stop ordering from NVIDIA. And hmm. because they see uh, end demand disappearing, and that really crystallized in the last two three, two, three months very clearly. We had a lot of indication of that, like 20 percent, about about 20 percent of the mining volumes have disappeared in the last two, three months. So, so that's really the main driver for that. And of course, you add to that the economic environment. We know there is like a very broad based consumer slowdown, consumer demand slowdown, PC demand is down, smartphone demand is down, um, the China demand has been very weak. Uh, consumer demand has been very weak in, in, in recent uh, months. So that's like a perfect storm for NVIDIA to, to see almost half their revenues disappearing in one quarter. It's not new. It's exactly the playbook of late 2018 and 2019 uh, when NVIDIA faced exactly the same situation, a slowdown in crypto uh, currency transactions uh, and a slowdown in, uh, in consumer demand. One last element to take into account, uh, NVIDIA is going to introduce new products probably at the end of this year. They need to have right. a clean slate for that. Uh, so they're cleaning up the channel. So they're pushing very hard on, uh, uh, on the cleanup as well. And so you have a buy rating on shares, and it sounds like if they've gone through this before in 2018, 2019, you're confident that they can work their way through this. This is not going to be a long-term issue for them, even though this is pretty significant revenue uh, decrease from where they had originally guided or where the street was looking for their revenue to be. Yeah, I think you summarized it very well. It's like it's going to, it's very painful. It's actually going to be painful for a couple more quarters, probably. And then NVIDIA is going to recover from there. And what's NVIDIA? They are like the unquestioned leader uh, in the market for accelerated computing, for visualization, for gaming, and for artificial intelligence, for machine learning. And these three markets are still extremely healthy. And, and that's the reason why the stock is bringing back um, uh, so little. The, the market knows that. And so our, our view on the stock, like our, our recent upgrade is really, let's take this opportunity, this weakness in, in the near-term outlook of the company to actually build positions. That's what we tell our, invest, our, our clients, yes. Uh, yeah, and so, I, uh, Pierre, this does nothing to change that view. 220, not that aggressive in terms of a price target, but just take me through the numbers in terms of multiples. Do you have to see um, a higher multiple, or is it simply based on what you think are the out-year numbers in terms of earnings? Um, yeah, it, it's a good question, David. So our, our price target is definitely not very aggressive for two reasons. The first one, it's a price target that is relative to the broader semiconductor space. And you know the space, as you mentioned, uh, has pulled back quite significantly. And the second reason is that it's a one-year price target. So we're kind of thinking, where could the stock trade in one year from now? And as I mentioned, we think the pain that NVIDIA is going through now is going to be there in Q3, and it's going to be still there. I'm talking calendar Q3, and it's still going to be there in calendar Q4 as well. Uh, and then the recovery will be progressive. So, so that's a price target in one year from now. And of course, there will be more um, uh, we, we can expect uh, behind uh, uh, behind that. So in the long run, we see much more significant uh, upside. Then on your questions about multiple okay. and things like that, we have actually a very um, uh, we're thinking like 2023, like financial 2025, uh, uh, financial, sorry, 2024 is going to be a year of recovery for NVIDIA. And we think NVIDIA can get back to $7 of earnings for their financial okay. year 25, which is $7.24. And like paying 31 mm -hmm. times that, which is like a very reasonable multiple is $220.